Thanks for stopping by my poster. I'm going to share with you some resources that I have found helpful when I cannot see beyond my own opinions and give you the opportunity to engage with these ideas by pausing um, at different times along the way. So first an on the court example of how I empowered empathy and love in a low stakes conflict. I have found that these approaches work in higher stakes conflict conflicts, they just take a little more effort sometimes. So I spent my first few weeks in a new hiking club complaining about the leader's lack of organization. And although we knew each other previously, he asked me who I was every time we hiked, adding, nice to meet you. I'm not proud of the fact that I completely wrote him off. But yesterday, in preparation for this conversation with you, I brought mindful awareness to reflect on my frustration, which gave me access to equanimity what is so, it turns out, did not care if I wanted a better hiking club leader. I was then empathetic with myself, understanding why I wanted someone else to be in charge, and with him, understanding that his way of leading had worked just fine for seven years. After the hike, I rolled down my window before driving away and playfully declared, hi, I'm Marsha Heck, nice to meet you. We both laughed and loving kindness was present. Let's take a look at the handout. So this handout shows you how I got to that point with the hiking leader. Um, empathy, first of all, is not sympathy, pity, circumstantial, or conditional. I have a complex um, conceptual framework for empathy that you can find here. In this both and world, loving those with whom we disagree, as John Lewis literally embodied, even in the face of the hate and fear-fueled violence of racism can be understood further through the diverse perspectives of the Christian New Testament and the Jewish Torah. To continue the conversation, I offer you these resources. Here's a sculpture on which I reflect about how I see others, how they see me, and how I see them seeing me. You can pause and reflect your thoughts about the polarized relationship you're in and how you see each other. In, he, in this article, my colleague and I discussed the being of restorative justice as both empathetic and accountable, not positional. Being restorative is being curious and vulnerable, seeking first to understand. Here you can pause and be with everything you have not yet said to allow that other person to understand you. Be with everything they would say if you were really listening to them. Where can you let go of blame and shame? And here is a construct I created called Coyote Style, playful actions that open up possibility. Pause here to identify the boxes that lock you in or lock other people out of being related. Then take action outside those boxes. Say something new. Hi, I'm Marcia Heck, nice to meet you. So I built my equanimity muscle and capacity to love myself, to love myself and others through meditation in part by exploring in the Consciousness Explorers Club in learning about new views of empathy from the school of life and in seeking out uplifting ideas and resources like the Center for Greater Good and this article that they have about being playful in relationships. I'm crystal clear that these practices are an act of self-care. Anais Nin said, we do not see the world as it is, we see it as we are. So this poster was inspired by a book chapter on self-care. Now, if you wanna continue this conversation further, please take note of this email address because it's not in your handout. All right, here's the bonus material. You might've heard in these ideas some landmark distinctions, including, but not limited to, one, reflection and being present through meditation and mindfulness practices equals the distinction be with. Equanimity equals listening from nothing. Three, restorative practices and seeking to understand power versus force and the communication curriculum. Four, coyote style equals fun, play, and ease and adult as possibility. These four capacities plus one person, you, add up to love, the fifth field in which adult as possibility relates to adult as possibility. Enjoy the rest of the conference. It's been great hanging.